Okay, so today I'm reviewing the Manfrotto 410 Junior Geared Head. It says it replaces the 3275, and I'm also getting this Manfrotto 120 38 column spacer, which is an adapter for the center column on your tripod. You're going to want that to give it some clearance on these controls here, and I'm going to demonstrate all of that as we go through this review. This has 3 8 inch threads, both on the adapter and on the bottom of this tripod head. So we're also going to go over the plate. The whole point of a geared head is you can have very precise directional control over your camera and lens. And I'm using this for wildlife, not for fast moving wildlife like birds in flight. But if you're going to have to make a video of a woodpecker drilling a hole in the side of a tree or something, bluebirds coming and going from a box, things like that that are in a fixed position, this kind of head is going to be fantastic. Now, for the plate that you have here, which is much larger than the standard uh, Manfrotto plates I have, which is good, one is a 3 8 inch thread, the other is a quarter 20. So I'm going to remove the 3 8 here, and uh, we're going to keep the quarter 20 because that's what I need for the lens that I'm going to put on here. And then just push that rubber grommet right back in there, and it holds its position. Plus, there's a little sliding space here. You can balance whatever you put on there if it's a camera. In this case, I'm mounting a lens to it and I'm going to show you that as well. If you're using a large telephoto lens, when you have that zoomed all the way out, and I'm going to show you a 500 millimeter lens, you're going to want a lot of control on it so there's no shake when you're taking a video or stills. This shows the release mechanism and the serial number can be found right here on top after you take the plate off. And there is one bubble level and that's on top. It's the only one. Of course, the tripod has its own bubble level. So we're going to take this 3 8 inch uh, threaded post here. We're going to screw it right into the bottom of this head. And remember this spacer, see those bottom controls? This spacer is going to give me the clearance I need when I put this on the tripod. There are also three flathead screws on the bottom. Make sure and cinch those up too. That will eliminate any rocking or movement between these two components. Now we look up nice and close at the controls. They're rubber, they're knurled. The uh, larger wave shaped uh, control ring there feels like metal. And uh, the degrees are clearly marked here for those of you who do very precise stitching together of photos. If you're a landscape or you're some kind of uh, architectural photographer, you're going to be able to control photo by photo as you stitch together those huge panoramics and interior shots. Now I'm going to use the Manfrotto 055 tripod here, which is my favorite tripod. It also has a 3 8 inch thread sticking up and it's spring loaded so it pushes down and reveals a quarter 20 if you need that. And here it is mounted. Simple and quick. Now look at the control here. Tilt, pan, and uh, fore and aft there. So you go side to side, panoramic, forward and back. And this is very easy to control. You grab that wave ring there, twist it to the right, and you can rapid position. And then of course go back to the smaller knob where you can turn it and have complete careful control as you focus in on that uh, subject matter. This is pretty good. As I said, you're not going to use this for fast moving stuff, but if you uh, are watching butterflies on flowers and things like that, and you need to get in there and have a stable camera position, that's why I bought this. And the tilt ring, you see it only goes 30 degrees in one direction, 90 degrees in the other for that portrait position, and we're going to show that too. And uh, it's absolutely quiet. So if you do wildlife photography, nothing you're doing can make a ratcheting sound. You don't want to uh, alert the wildlife that you're there. I have to say I'm very impressed with the build of this. It is nice and solid and the movements have no play in them. Now if you take the big ring and rapid move it, you can end up in between kind of gear spacing and then it'll make a little click. But once it clicks and locks in, you have total control again and there is no um, detectable play in this at all. So I like it. Yep, very good. It has a capacity of uh, the head itself will hold 11 pounds. The tripod that I'm putting it on has a payload capacity of 19.8 pounds. Make sure all the gear that you use has the weight rating for the equipment that you're about to put on it. The lens and camera I'm putting on this is just over 5 pounds, so this is more than adequate to do what I need it to do. Nice and smooth, nice and quiet.
And these are the details from the box. This is a genuine Manfrotto product. Some people get some of these that are knockoffs. I don't know where they're getting them from. But uh, the head weighs 3 pounds and it holds 11 pounds, 0.02. Made out of aluminum, solid block of aluminum. kind of feels like uh, a really rugged piece of gear. The other piece here too, this adapter. 120, 38 spacer for tripod columns. Feels like a metal hockey puck to me. Fantastic, solid, well machined, clean. The knurling here is very nice. And see the space that it provides here between the tripod and that head. If I didn't have it, it'd be annoyed. Now the other thing is the screw that's on the bottom of the plate here that you mount to your camera, or in this case, to my lens. You can do that with a quarter or a nickel in your pocket. So no need to carry any extra gear. Clicks right in, easy removal, easy attachment, and it's very firm. So very happy with this. Now you can see that I have a 200 to 500 millimeter lens on here. That's a long lens and it's of course zoomed out to the 200. If you zoom it to 500, really long, lots of exaggerated movement at that distance. And this, this head is going to give me the exact amount of control that I need to get this camera focused in exactly where I need it to be. Quiet and clean and accurate. Excellent. Very impressed with this head. I would definitely recommend this thing. And of course, tilting side to side, you can go to portrait mode here. You're not going to want to do it with this micro adjustment handle. You're going to want to go to the big wave shaped handle there and twist it to the right and flip the whole thing down. And then that's going to get you in that position fast. Here we go. Right there, we're vertical. But of course, if you're using a uh, big lens like this, it also has a lens ring. And you can just turn the camera within that lens ring and uh, go to your portrait mode. So you have your options here. And again, the micro adjustments are really good, especially when you really have to level up. If there's water and stuff involved, and here we go using the ring, lock that right in, and you could leave the uh, head in the upright position. Nice. I really like it. So here we go, there's the whole rig. Wildlife, nature photography, architectural photography, whatever you do, if you need to have really good control with your head on your tripod, I would say this 410 Junior Geared Head is the way to go. I've never had a geared head before, so I can't really compare it to anything else, but it's fantastic and I plan to use it. Thanks for watching.